Hello, this is Jung. I hope you're well. I want to share a few thoughts today relating to the topic of decision making. Or more specifically, what do we do when others have made a decision that affects us or affects our colleagues, the team we work with? I'm thinking particularly in big companies that somebody, maybe it's the CEO or the leadership team, have made a decision that has big implications in terms of how the company operates. It could be a project that your team is working on. It could be an initiative that has been impacted. It could even be a cost-cutting exercises. And often these decisions are made that have a, perhaps a, a positive intent for the company. But we may feel that we are deeply affected and we didn't have any influence dare I say in how that decision was made or indeed the outcome so given that a decision has been made what then happens what do we if we find ourselves in a leadership position trying to manage that with our teams what do we do no doubt that it's difficult you may feel stressed you may feel unsure of what to do and I always recommend that there's the only things we can really do are to control what we can control this decision has been made that can't be changed or well, generally that's why it's a decision that's been made but rather what can we do given that the decision has been made I think one thing is understanding very fully what are the implications what could be the possible effects that could have? We may think of the negative downsides, negative in, impact that this might have, the decision. But as well, think of what perhaps is a positive. What could be an opportunity that could arise from this? The communication is going to be key. So helping to you know, working with your team members to understand maybe their fears, maybe their questions, concerns. And working with your management, your leadership uh, team to try and get answers to those questions on what is a way forward. It's always going to be challenging, but I think by yourself being very, being present, using good listening skills, making the time to communicate with your team, listen to their considerations. I think that is a the thing that you can do that is within your control. If this resonates with you, then I invite you to subscribe to future videos. And also, if you're interested, I have a quiz. It's a personal mastery quiz. And by answering the questions within, should take you about maybe a few minutes. 27 questions and you will get a personalized PDF report on your level of personal mastery, your ability to lead yourself. And it includes as well some recommendations on how you can improve your own leadership, leading with purpose and ability to lead with more mastery. Take care.